it's about sensitivity to our environment and, and where are we going in terms of how we treat the earth and the legacy we're leaving for our kids and grandkids. I have a three-year-old daughter and I want the world to be a better place for her when she grows up. I want to know that she is not paying ridiculous amounts of electricity bills. I want to know that she is breathing clean, fresh air and living a great life. The housing sector accounts actually for about 15% of Canadian greenhouse gas emissions. And the earlier we can act and accelerate the, the changes to minimizing our environmental footprint will help in the end mitigate climate change impacts. Climate change is one of the greatest challenges of our generation right now. Resource Canada is a federal department whose main goal is to ensure the responsible development of our resources. And one key program is the Eco Energy Innovation Program. The key objective for the Eco Energy Innovation Program was to fund research and development projects in energy technology that would help eliminate pollution and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Well, Natural Resources Canada has been conducting research in net zero energy housing for a better part of a decade now. We have been involved with monitoring the performance of existing net zero energy housing to better understand the technologies, and how they're performing and their reliability. So an RFP was issued in 2012 and this project with Owens Corning was successful and the projects are set up to wrap March 31st, 2016. Uh, ultimately, NRCAN is seeking to develop the technology solutions to build and a framework to evaluate net zero energy homes. Simply put, a net zero means that a home produces as much energy as it consumes in the year and has the ability to sell energy back to the grid. When we partnered with uh, Enercan on this program, we knew right from the outset that in order for this to be a success, we needed to partner with the right builders. And builders who thought of uh, net zero and sustainability uh, the same way that Owens Corning does. We talked about builders might want to participate and then be set about recruiting those builders. Well certainly we were looking for innovators in the marketplace, builders who had energy efficiency uh, as part of their DNA. So our journey began in 2012 when Enercan provided Owens Corning with the grant to actually pursue this net zero project. At the time we knew that net zero energy was not a new concept. Uh, so the first thing we did was to convene the very first North American Net Zero Design Charette. This took place in Toronto. We brought together Canadian experts from across the country, um, as well as some experts from, from America and the States. Um, after defining Net Zero, it's really important to develop a common recipe. So what does a specification look like? What sort of technology should we be looking at to, to achieve Net Zero? So at the end of the charrette, the final outcome and deliverable was this common recipe that we gave to each regional builder to take back and customize for their region. It was really important that we recognize that every region is different. Calgary's climate is different than Halifax's climate. Um, the market conditions in Halifax are different than, say, those in Laval, Quebec. So it was really important that uh, we gave enough time for these regional builders to address those idiosyncrasies in, in each region. With that common recipe, uh, the regional teams, the builders and the consultants and, and ourselves spent almost over a year designing, simulating, modeling, redesigning and testing new technologies to find that the regional technical specification that would work for that, for that region. And we knew that even after a year doing this that we still wanted to gather feedback from the industry. And in 2014 we hosted an implementation charrette at the North American Net Zero Leadership Summit in, uh, in California. It brought together net zero leaders from across the continent. The summit took place alongside the Solar Decathlon and our team was able to see some pretty innovative concepts and research coming from universities across North America. At this charrette, we, we gathered feedback that helped some teams to pivot their designs. 
And finally, in, in late 2014, we saw our first net zero home in Guelph break ground and the rest of the groundbreaking is spread across Canada. Uh, we don't just build the code, we like to push the envelope. So when Net Zero came up, when you look at the dynamics of what's happening in the building industry today, this was a natural transition to take the opportunity to learn and look at building Net Zero for the future. Now we've stepped into an even more exciting era in, uh, in home building. Uh, this Net Zero home that, uh, that we're in is the latest example of, of another milestone Um, at Minto, we take great pride in um, reducing our environmental impact by building better, more energy efficient homes for our customers. And so this project was a great opportunity for us to continue to build on what we've already learned over the years, but to do that in participation and collaboration with some amazing industry experts. So as house builders, we're moving towards improved energy efficiencies. Net zero is a natural evolution for us as we continually improve the efficiency and cost effectiveness of energy efficient homes. A project like Net Zero teaches us a lot about what can be done. We really want to look at using the opportunity of our scale and I'll even go further than that, the obligation of our scale to continue to drive the industry forward to really look at how energy efficiency and sustainability continue to find its way into production housing. For me, Net Zero Energy is a concrete application of uh, energy efficiency. Anyone that wants to uh, be good with the environment, one simple and accessible solution is to have a Net Zero home. I mean, I think uh, the concept of a net zero is very exciting. It is something that is readily available to consumers today with the technologies that are off the shelf. And we're excited about the opportunity to work with industry to develop new technologies and new ideas that will make this concept of net zero much more affordable and accessible to consumers. Net Zero really encompasses energy efficiency at the core. It takes it to the next level. So when we work with our builders and we talk about energy efficiency, we really look at you know, how we're doing things and learning from each other. So Net Zero is that next level in which we're striving for our builders to, to achieve. Net Zero means a cost-effective and affordable future for Canadians. It's something that Owens Corning takes at heart and something that we want to achieve right across Canada. Uh, Owens Corning's code board air barrier system was the key conservation technology that all of these builders implemented on their homes to achieve that air tightness value that uh, was fundamental in, in achieving that zero performance. And so Owens Corning went from region to region, municipality to municipality, trained trades, builders, and uh, building officials even on their code board air barrier system to ramp up and prepare the, the region for the implementation of this code board air barrier system. Owens Corning has been a phenomenal partner. We've had a great relationship, not just with training our trades and our salespeople, but helping to improve the overall envelope of a home and the insulation so that homeowners are already getting a better quality product. Our relationship with Owens Corning goes even further into the development and strategies of new types of construction techniques, how they're implemented, and even as far as looking at municipal opportunities with us. We knew going into the winter climate zone that we would have to do something new and different. You know, they spent a lot of time with us on what sort of products would work best with our uh, advanced wall system. And their help into this project has been more than just providing products. It's been really about uh, giving us technical support, helping us uh, achieve and uh, go through all the challenges that have been put in front of us. Their implication in the project has been major. And uh, for us, uh, we look forward to have more uh, partnerships with Owens Corning. The type of project like the Net Zero Energy Housing can contribute uh, to creating resilient communities in the future. This will help, in the end, uh, transition to a lower carbon economy. Zero Energy uh, homes are indeed a reality, and it can be done across the country using different techniques, using commercially available uh, technologies and uh, that our entrepreneurs in Canada or home builders were innovative and in finding ways to integrate these together. We really appreciated the support that Enercan brought to the table uh, to help bring us all together. We're ensuring we shared knowledge um, amongst the builders, amongst our industry colleagues, and really made the project a success by having that underlying support. 
Énergie net zéro, pour moi, ce que ça veut dire, je vous dirais que ça veut dire le futur. Je vous dirais ce que la maison canadienne va vouloir être dans 15-20 ans. Euh, c'est tout près, là. Puis euh, c'est vraiment ce que euh, tous les gens au Canada, tous les citoyens canadiens vont vouloir avoir comme maison. Je voyais ça comme un voir ça en futur. Là, vraiment, c'est. Euh, mais on, on l'a vraiment aujourd'hui, on l'a, c'est faisable dès aujourd'hui. Net zero is the future, but the great thing is the future is here today. Net zero is about a house, so, you know, one of the terms that we're using is everybody loves their houses. Net zero are houses, they're houses that love you back. Uh, they protect you from the elements, they protect you from increasing energy prices, they create a comfortable environment. So much thought is given to interior finishes and creating good indoor air quality. It's a comfortable house. Net zero, for me, is the house that every Canadian should aspire to have one day. Net Zero is the pinnacle in energy efficiency. It's the perfect balance between environmental stewardship and enhanced occupant comfort. It means leading the industry in terms of environment and in terms of sustainable building. It's not a question of if Net Zero homes are going to be built. It's a question of when they're going to be built. It is one of the things we're thrilled to support as Natural Resources Canada in that you are exemplifying how you can take ideas, how you can bring people together, and how you can create energy efficiencies. The next wave, if you will, in, in greener homes and help educate Canadians about why it's important for them to want those things. How much healthier it is for them to live in it, how they're contributing to a better environment, and frankly, how they're helping the next wave of technology. It's about creating jobs, it's about protecting our environment, and Net Zero is doing those things very well.